All right, what's going on everybody? Uh, I have another jailbreak video here for you. And uh, this video, I'm actually gonna be doing something a little bit different, which uh, on this, you don't have to be jailbroken to actually do this. Um, what I'm gonna show you guys here is uh, actually how to um, set up the Find My iPhone feature with uh, Mobile Me. Uh, it is a free, completely free feature, and I just wanna show you guys, you know, if you ever lose your phone, or if you ever, um, uh, if someone steals it, something like that, uh, with this, you can uh, remote wipe it you can even remotely lock it and even send a little pop-up that says you know give me my freaking phone back anything that you want to say uh, you can do this with this uh, mobile me feature which uh, what you need to do is just go down here into settings and uh, just go up here to um, you need to go to mail contacts and calendars and you need to hit this add an account and uh, what you need to do, what you need to do is actually go to Mobile Me. Even if you don't have like a paid Mobile Me account, it doesn't matter. Just go ahead and go to Mobile Me, which I'm going to hit that now. Bear with me there. And uh, hey, then uh, after you hit that Mobile Me, you get presented with this. It just all you need to do is type in your normal Apple ID and the Apple ID password. That's the same Apple ID that you use to sign into the App Store. It should actually already pop up your Apple ID and you just need to type in your password. But it's the same one that you always use, you know, on the App Store or iTunes, whichever one. And uh, let's go ahead and just type that in right now. Bear with me as I type this in real quick. As quick as possible. And after you type that in on the top right corner, you just want to hit next and it's just going to verify the account. And the account is then verified and you get presented with this little pop up right here. Um, what you need to do is you just need to make sure that you do hit allow, uh, allow mobile me to use the location of your iPhone. So just hit OK. And right now you see the find my iPhone feature there. It's on. So now all you need to do is just hit save up there and it's going to it's going to add the account which after that under your account you just you should have a mobile me right there so um, you have that completely set up so now we should we can just go ahead and search for the phone um, what I do is you can actually go to the App Store and um, search for let's go to the App Store back here let's go to search And let's type in uh, find find my iPhone right there, and it should be right up there at the top to find find my iPhone. You go ahead and hit that, and as you see right there, I already have it installed. It is of course completely free, so we just need to go back. Um, all you need to do is uh, go to the find my iPhone um, symbol right there. Uh, just find the app and just hit it. And um, let me go ahead and sign out here. Um, and when this comes up, you'll actually just get this right here, which is the Find My iPhone. And the same way that you signed in to your mobile me, you just need to sign in right here the same way that you set that account up. Just go ahead and hit this. And go ahead and just type that normal Apple ID and your password, which I'm going to go ahead and do that right now. and you just go ahead and hit go at the bottom and it's just gonna say signing in just like that and when it comes up you get presented with the um, you know you can have several different devices set up with as long as they you know have the same Apple ID they'll just be coming down just like this which it automatically locates your device as you can see right there that's my iPhone that I'm using right now and uh, all you gotta do is just hit this right here and uh, you can do either one. You can uh, play a sound or send a message. You can do remote lock or remote wipe. Um, and as you see, there's my device right there. It's completely it found it just fine. So what we're going to do is we're going to send, we're going to hit play sound or send message. We're going to hit that and we're going to say uh, punk ass. my phone which I I was gonna type some cursage but I won't do that because it takes too long and we're just gonna hit uh, hit play sound so they you know do realize so we're just gonna go ahead and hit send sending request and as you see this important message just came up and it doesn't matter if the phone's locked whatever important message say punk ass give me my phone so they are gonna hit OK 
and that's it. And uh, of course, a confirmation uh, confirmation email is going to be sent to you just to make sure. Next thing we're going to do, we're going to go ahead and remote lock it. So if it, you know, you, they, you don't have a passcode or anything like that, you can go ahead and remote lock it. Which all we need to do is just hit that right there. Your device will be locked using its existing passcode. So make sure you do have a passcode in there, and you just go ahead and hit lock. And that's it. As you can see, the phone, I just remotely locked it, and that's it, you guys. And uh, like you, it did say, you can remotely wipe it as well. But uh, again, you guys, I think that's a pretty cool feature. And uh, please rate, comment, subscribe. Let me know if you guys have any issues with it. And uh, I'll see you in the next video.